Hello, we're going to talk today about fear. And I want to start out by telling you a story that recently happened to me. It was um, early in the morning, about 6 o'clock, it was still dark out, and all of a sudden this ice-cold fear, I've never felt it like that before, but just this incredible fear just raced through my body. It was the kind of fear where you're like, is everybody okay? Is there, is there, is there um, you know, are all my babies okay? And I um, found my daughter outside, um, um, it was still dark out, and she was outside, you know, letting the dog go to the bathroom. And um, I was like, you know, baby, why don't you guys, why don't you come back in, grab the dog, come back in? And I was trying to process what was that? What was that fear that I felt? And later on that day, we had discovered through some other circumstances that we had a couple homeless people living underneath our deck. And so that means that when my daughter was out there squatting down, you know, waiting for that dog to come to her, she was probably about three feet away from where these, where these people were sleeping. And, um, Wow, that that was hard. That was a really hard thing for me to process. And it was a hard thing for me to feel safe and to feel secure. And that night, you know, I went to bed and I woke up every hour just so alert. And what was that noise? Was, and is everything okay? And I'd get up and, you know, was so tired. And I'd go back to bed and fall asleep again and wake up again with just this, you know, this startling fear. And I thought, oh my goodness, like I just, I don't feel safe. I don't feel okay. And um, the next night, you know, it was like fear just kept knocking on my shoulder and harassing me. And I just, I woke up and I just was like, you know what? <laughs> no to fear. I absolutely say no to fear. It wasn't just coming and attacking my fear and my safety for the moment. It was also coming to, to take back the ground that the Lord has allowed me to establish, that he is my provider, he is my protector, that I am not a single mother, that he has got our back, that we are safe, that we are okay. And this fear just kept knocking, and it's like it wanted me to go back and partner with, that we're all alone, that we're at risk, that we're vulnerable, that we have no covering. And, um, wow, what a lie, what a lie. There was a reality that went on that we, we had to deal with some homeless people in our backyard, and God exposed that. He exposed it through letting me know that something wasn't okay. He alert me as a mother that my daughter needed to be brought, brought back inside immediately, and nothing happened. The police were notified, and, and they have since moved on. And, um, yeah, I just I want to give a message about there's, there's fear that's legitimate based on, based on circumstances. Like, that was, a, that was a legitimate reason to feel concerned. But when we continue to partner with it after the event is over, we actually are partnering with a demonic spirit. A demonic spirit of fear. And the spirit of fear is one of the number one ways that the enemy gains access or influence over our lives. And come on, in today's world, there's so many things to be concerned or even afraid about with our children. I have talked to so many um, very mature, godly moms who are now grandparents. And one of the reoccurring themes that I keep hearing from them over and over again is the one thing, the only thing that I feared over my children is the thing that happened. I feared that they would fall sexually. I feared that they would get into drugs, that they would run away, that they would rebel, that they, you know, and the list goes on and on and on, that they'd get a divorce when they got older or, um, that they would, um, you know, not go to college or whatever the fear is. It's actually a thing that came true. And there's just, we need to expose fear today. Because when we as parents fear something over our children, and it can be a legitimate concern, and it can, our motives for not wanting our child to, to dabble into that could be really right. But when we use the tools of the spirit of fear, we are actually opening the door and welcoming that very same thing into our kids and into their lives. Is that what we want? Of course not. You know, I, I, I really, I realize when those homeless people were there and how the enemy was trying to woo and wow me back into this un land of unbelief that God was not sufficient to take care of me, it made me mad. It made me, I had righteous anger over that. You are not taking my peace. You are not taking my faith. And you are not taking um, just that confidence that I had that Father God has our back. And so I just want to release over you today that you can release fear to go in Jesus' name. 
that whatever you have concern about over your children, instead of grabbing the spirit of fear, let's grab the Holy Spirit and let's release the Holy Spirit over our children's minds, their sexuality, their bodies, their friends, their education, their future, their marriages, and let's infuse the Holy Spirit instead of the spirit of fear. All right, be blessed by that, you guys, and remember that God wants our children to fly today.